a spiritual relationship, a pep talk from Diddy, and jokingly exchanging help on an album for a baby. Lauren London was much more than a muse for late rapper Nipsey Hussle. Although Lauren London won audiences over in shows like The Game, her career met a setback when she had to turn down a big opportunity, as her partner Nipsey Hussle told GQ. Lauren was handpicked by John Singleton to do Snowfall. She read, got the part, shot the pilot, did stunts. This was her dream role. But before she could actually join the show, the couple received the unexpected bombshell that London was expecting their first child together. Hustle insisted that he never forced her to decide either way, so this left London with a decision about whether to choose between her career and a potential family. She explained her reasoning, saying, It was the toughest decision of my career by far. Do I choose my soul or myself? I went with my soul. She later took a break from acting after Hustle's death in 2019, and no projects involving her were released for two years. She told Entertainment Tonight, Moving forward in my life, I kind of don't want to do anything that I can't really truthfully contribute. In 2022, she starred in the film Without Remorse with Michael B. Jordan. The Creed actor said of his co-star, Her strength was inspiring and truly incredible, you know? Nip was somebody that I admired and looked up to. I felt like, specific to this character and their relationship on screen, it felt like it was an opportunity that, if she was up to it, there could be something for her to let some of that out. Lauren London and Nipsey Hussle became a family in 2016 with the birth of their baby boy, Cross. London already had one child with Lil Wayne, whom she had known since she was 15, and they'd welcomed a son into the world in 2009. Hussle also had a daughter from a previous relationship. As his publicist later told GQ, Hussle was a devoted father, adding that he always drove his daughter to school every day. Hustle told NBA star Stephen Curry in an interview that his priority was to make sure he set a good example for his kids. Just to just to raise good people, yeah. you know, that, that that have a foundation of like principle and a foundation of integrity. Hustle also commented that he had changed a lot since becoming a father to his daughter and son, saying, It's crazy to see the shift that's happening. In my case, it brought a better version of me out. That's probably the best thing I did. TMZ reported that both of Hustle's children would be provided for after his tragic death, since each is entitled to half of his estate. Like many musicians, Nipsey Hussle was inspired by all the relationships in his life, and his love for Lauren London was no exception, as he proved on Instagram by calling London his muse. He also credited her with inspiring him for the years they were together. The rapper also joked that London probably deserved some of the publication rights to his music, before adding, I gave her a baby, though, so we even. According to Revolt, London later revealed that she had a role to play on Victory Lap, with the actor admitting, Fun fact, the voice that says Victory Lap on the album is me. She went on to tell her followers that she'd been sitting in the studio with Baby Cross during the recording of the album. London also spoke about her appreciation of Nipsey's music, particularly the songs that addressed Hustle's beliefs and activism. Telling GQ, He's gotten more of a platform to be really clear about his message, because before he was just making rap gangbang music. But I think he has a purpose in all the raps, and that's coming to light. She also expressed her happiness that he was finally getting the widespread recognition that she believed that he deserved. Fans of Nipsey Hussle and Lauren London were disappointed in November 2017 when the couple split up. Hussle later released a tweet about the couple's separation, saying, We are deciding to separate and raise our son together as the main priority. This was a mutual choice, and we will function with each other as family, with love and respect. He also indicated they did not regret their time together, making it clear that there were no hard feelings between the former couple. Their breakup didn't last long, however. Rolling Out reported that the pair were seen together again in February 2018, at the release party for Hustle's long-awaited debut album, Victory Lap. And a few months before they attended that event, BET noted that Hustle and London exchanged a few flirtatious comments on Instagram, which, of course, sparked speculation from fans and outlets about what was going on between them. In 2019, London and Hustle proved their compatibility by filming an interview together for GQ, where the rapper answered questions about his partner and vice versa. He was also asked to describe London in three words. Charismatic, for sure. I would say, like, honorable. And emotional. As a couple who spent five years together and had a child, 
Nipsey Hussle and Lauren London faced a lot of scrutiny about whether they would ever tie the knot. TMZ even reported that they had images of the pair posing for an engagement shoot in Los Angeles. Although Hustle sent out a tweet insisting that they had been taking photos for a magazine spread rather than celebrating any upcoming wedding. Despite his statement, TMZ still claimed that several sources close to the pair had confirmed the engagement. However, after Hustle's murder, his death certificate stated that he had never been married. London later talked to Angie Martinez on her podcast about her and Nipsey's time together, admitting that she hadn't really thought about what made their relationship unique until Hustle's death and shared what she had come to realize. Spiritual relationship is without the ego. It is we are together. I bring you up, inspire you, you inspire me. Nipsey Hussle's life came to a tragic early end at age 33 when he was fatally shot outside his Los Angeles clothing store by Eric Holder Jr. According to NBC News, Holder had argued with Hussle beforehand about rumors that Holder had become a police informant. Although Hussle was rushed to a hospital after the shooting, He could not recover from being shot at least 10 times. He was pronounced dead on March 31, 2019. In 2022, Hustle's killer was convicted for first-degree murder and for wounding two other people. The beloved rapper's death prompted a ceasefire between the local Crips and Bloods, while the Los Angeles gangs gathered to mourn their hometown hero. Unfortunately, as the Los Angeles Times reported, the alley near where the tragic event took place continued to be marred by crime and violence leading to a temporary closure. This despite the fact that murals dedicated to the late rapper were popping up nearby. Even Barack Obama spoke about the tragedy, mourning the loss of Hustle's community activism. Writing in a letter that was read aloud at Hustle's memorial, while most folks look at the Crenshaw neighborhood where he grew up and see only gangs, bullets, and despair, Nipsey saw potential. Lauren London also spoke at the memorial, although she later admitted that she nearly couldn't bring herself to go through with it. The actor was so distraught that mega-producer Sean Diddy Combs had to reach out to reassure her before it was time for her speech at the memorial. And it was Diddy who helped her select an outfit, other than her original choice of wearing sweats. She explained on the Angie Martinez IRL podcast, saying, Puff pulled me aside and was like, Look, you have showed everybody what it looks like to hold a man down and to love him. Now show them what it looks like when it all crumbles. That's your responsibility. According to Page Six, Combs and London have known each other for years, and their close relationship even sparked rumors that they were romantically involved in 2020. Combs referred to the actor as a sister, and London completely denied any speculation that she was dating again after her bereavement. The rapper also shared an emotional video after Hustle's death, entreating fans to love and support each other. He also assured viewers that nobody was alone and went on to say, Enough is enough. We have acquired too much knowledge to be in the situations that we're in. The city of Los Angeles embraced Nipsey Hussle as a local hero, particularly after his untimely death. NBC News reported that not only did the rapper have an intersection named after him, but August 15th was also officially declared Nipsey Hussle Day in Los Angeles. And on August 15th, 2022, on what would have been his 37th birthday, a ceremony was held to unveil his Hollywood Walk of Fame star. London spoke at the ceremony and said, I think I speak for the entire city of LA when I say that we always knew that Hustle was destined for greatness. This moment only amplified that for us. As driven as he was, she noted that he never let that drive compromise his values or identity, adding, that doesn't mean forgetting where you come from, but it requires acknowledging the reality you were born into and the power you have to change that reality for the better. She added that she hopes the star on the Walk of Fame not only serves as a tribute to Hustle's memory, but continues to inspire, saying, I hope the star encourages you to break away from whatever might be holding you back and for you to run your marathon until God says that it is finished. Finally, she noted that Nipsey Hustle's star on the Walk of Fame would remind others to run their own marathon, summing it all up by saying, Nip will forever live in our hearts. <laughs>